Hello guys, this is Joseph from Joe Concept. How is everything today? I hope you are doing very fine. Alright, in this tutorial we are going to be looking at introduction to UV unwrapping and I just want to quickly tell us a story. In this tutorial I want to try and cut this tutorial short. So I'm trying to come to the basis of why UV unwrapping is important and why you need to understand why you need to do UV unwrapping. So before we can start and um, talking about the subject matter so if you're like me you have a model and you want to texture the model you notice that the texture or you want the texture you have on the material is kind of not placed or projected well the way you want it to be now what is happening then is that you don't really have um, control over where you want to paste or your or project your texture on the model so which is why uv unwrapping comes into place where you can um, easily place a particular texture at different positioning on your model so uv unwrapping is just basically you cutting your material when you have a model and you slice it cut into 2d plane then you now have it flat then you can now start pasting your texture on that object before you now wrap it back so that is just what uv unwrapping is so i'm going to illustrate with this um, shape this cube and you will understand what I'm talking about now you, you notice if you add the material to an object and you select the material tab remember the projection and I don't know if you know about this projection we have different types of projections so we have our spherical projection we have a cylindrical flat cubic front and so on and so forth but why do we have all this projection and what do these things mean what do these things mean rather so spherical, spherical projection means the software is going to project a texture on the model using a spherical mode so that means that means your texture is going to look like a ball or a sphere on the object and if your model is a spherical object and that is what you want then i think spher spherical will go well with your um mod model but sometimes you also have cylindrical objects so that means if you want to project your object your texture more like a cylinder then it works with a cylindrical shape so i hope that is well explanatory so then the flat one is just more like you're cutting the object into two um plane on the object so this is more for your plane or your floor if you want to do that that is but then you now have this your uvw mapping now the, the, the uvw mapping is now you having control is a way of you getting control and not making use of any of this you want to have a control over where you want to project your objects on so now this uv mapping is very important for um organic shapes and character models so but but then that doesn't mean you cannot use it on this kind of object so I'm going to illustrate for you to work with your UV mapping you need to first off convert this into an editable format so if I hit C on my object I'm going to have this tag so I'm going to undo that so you see what I'm trying to do notice that this cube doesn't have any tag now that tag is what we call the UV tag so if you hit C or you convert this to an editable format the UV tag will be displayed to you now this UV tag is what determines how the projection is going to be on the object so it's just you more like cutting these different faces and projecting it on a flat plane so for you to see what this uv tag is right now all you need to do is just hold down your shift key and double click on the uv tag once you hold down the shift key and double click notice what is happening now is that you have a square <coughs> sorry so what this is doing is that the software is cutting all these planes the software is cutting these planes and placing them on top of one another i hope we understand what is happening here so that is what is happening here now if i to write anything here what is going to happen is that this whatever i write here is going to be written on all the faces, and the reason is because all these faces were cut and placed on top of one another so <clears throat> let me illustrate that if i change my layout from you startup 
to UV edit. So this is where we're going to be working for UV unwrapping. So if you go to UV edit, all right, the first thing you're going to do anytime you come over to your UV edit is to come down here where you have your object tab, you also have your material section. So we go to the material section. We've already added the material, <clears throat> all right? We've already added the material. But right now we cannot paint on this object. And the reason why we can't paint on this object is because we don't have any channel loaded. So for us to load the channel, we'll have to first off click on this X sign. Then an, a little X sign is there. Double click on this, then this comes up. Just click on here. So this is giving you the color is going to the, the, the default color is going to fill the object with. So if I fill the object with this reddish color and I press OK, and that is what is going to fill the objects and also fills everything here. So if I go to my brush tool and I go to color, choose a particular color, I want to choose white color so that you can see that. Then if I go to my brush settings. I want to increase the size a little bit okay this is good and also increase the pressure and the hardness now look at what happens if I'm to paint here if, I, if I'm to write two here what is happening now is that can you see what I'm I was talking about is writing the two on all the faces and this might not be good for us because why would I write something here and is that is coming out on every other part that is not really good now by the way if you are not seeing this texture loaded here or this section I'm still, still going to come back here if you're not seeing your UV map loaded here all you need to just come to your UV mesh and click on the show so maybe you don't have that displayed you can just click on show UV mesh and that will come up. all right so this is the problem we're having so what we want to do is that now you come into the UV Unwrap means we are cutting this object loose and having these different faces on this plane so that we can write on. So I'm going to um, open a. I'm going to go back to my stats up, then open this um, UV unwrap start. I have a, I have a scene that I created for you so you can understand what that means. So if I if I come to this guy here, look at the cube. What is happening is that for UV unwrapping means you are cutting the object at different section and placing them on a flat plane. So if I'm to play this, what is happening now is that I'm cutting. Can you notice? It's just more like you're cutting this cube and you're having this placed on. The so, so that means if I write anything here, that will be writing on that face. If I write anything there. But what Cinema 4D did for us then was to create all these things, all these cuts, and place them on top of one another. So this comes here, this also comes here, this comes here. Place all of them on top of one another. So we have only one cube. So if I write anything, it affects everything. But that is not the right way it should be. We want to have control so that we can write something here and it affects, we are write something different here. So that's why I'm using this to illustrate. So UV unwrapping is just you cutting your 3D geometry and placing it on a 2D plane so that you can project your texture on it. Now, if you also look at this um, cylindrical object, you can also cut this cylinder loose for you to get something like this. So you, I hope you get the idea of what is happening now. So it's just you having a cylinder and cutting this edge and having a flat object on which you can paste your texture. So having this in mind, we are going to go over into that UV um, unwrapping and UV edit and talk about the interface, all right? So I'm going to go back to this. And for you to start working on your UV unwrap, you come to your stats and change your layout from stats start up to pp uv edit so bp uv edit means body paint uv edit so you have this canvas or workspace so let's look at what this does so you have the menu bar that gives you some menus which i'm going to come into you have your 3d view where you can navigate then you have your uv um viewports this is more like a 2D viewport that paste your material here or your UV of your texture here. And coming down here, you have your 
um, UV map manager where you can start copy your layers, brush and swatches and UV things. Then you have your attributes at the center, then you have your object that shows listing of your object, the material section, the color and the coordinate. So that is what this is about. All right, tip two. And the tip two here is that once you have your objects created and you've converted it to a table. All right, tip two. And the tip two here is that once you have your objects created and you've converted it to a table format. Now, if you come over to your material section here, now you can add up materials on this object in two ways. And the first method is a lot longer and also not effective why i said that is i'm going to do that and you will see the difference and you will tell me which you would use later on so the first method is you coming over to your material section and double clicking under here once you double click a material will be added here now the material you've added here i would need to click on this x sign for me to be able to add a channel so if i click on the x sign then I have a section for me to add a channel so if i double click on this channel i can give the channel a color click ok now i have created this material set and you can already see the material set here but now why i said this is not effective is because this material set that i've created didn't really do anything on my uv mapping it just created the material set and the same uv mapping that i have is still what i have and for me to see the effect if i paint I'm not seeing anything because I have to manually add this over to this object before I can see what I'm painting. So you can see that. So those are the two dif uh, disadvantages. The first disadvantage is that you have to manually drag this. I, I want this to be automated. And the second thing is that it's still the same UV mapping that I have. So all of them are still placed on top of one another. So whatever I do here is affecting everything around. So the second method is more effective and that is making use of this icon at the top this paint setup wizard this paint setup wizard will automatically add itself to the object and also remap what we have here so the way this thing is mapped is going to remap it and try as much as to bring them out so that you can be able to paint on each of that so what i'll do is i'll come back to this material object remove this material that i've added so we are back so it still remembers this but we need to go back to the material so for me to add in the second material using the second method i'll just come to this um, paint setup wizard once i click it tells me to choose any of the option whether i want to create this setup for the object or for material so if i want to create it for this material i can pick but i want to create it for this object this cube object so i'll go to object then since cube is selected if i have multiple objects in my scene all i need to just uncheck those that i don't need and click on the ones that i need then i'll click on next the next thing is is going to recalculate your uv map and also with optimal cubic mapping so this is what will realign the mapping and it's going to be making use of cubic mapping we're going to get to this then you will either say you want to do this or you want to realign so i want to go with optimal cubic mapping then it's going to make it a single material mode then if i click on next it tells me which of the channel that i want under my material so i want to set up my color channel and i can pick the color that i want all right so let's say we want to go with the same color click ok then as we click on finish i want you to look down here on this object as you click on finish it's going to add this object here and also notice what has happened just close this it has created this different section for us meaning if i make this one i have that if this is two that's two if this is three four five and six so if you look through here so this is a lot better than the other option so the reason why i'm having this is because this is coming down here all right so that is why we have that so but what i'm trying to illustrate here is that using this as 
um, helped us by remapping this using cubic mapping and also aligning them into this slot and this is a lot better and that doesn't mean we cannot still paint here so if i want to paint on this object i can paint on this object and that will get painted also so i can decide to say i want to paint this place and paint that section and that is the only thing i'm going to get for this section all right so the whole place is painted white so if i want to paint this section another color i can either go to this number one and just choose color choose a different color that i want to use either paint here or paint it here in the 3d viewport and that will not affect every other thing all right so i hope this explains these two options the first option by double clicking here or the, and the second option by doing that so that is there so what i am going to explain now is um a different way of um, 